see, the angel I'm talking about has come with a vase of oil. There's an oil, an oil vase. And that angel will soon begin to anoint people. For I see heaven open. I see a bright light coming out. First of all, there is a sister. And this sister is sitting towards this, this direction. Sitting towards this direction. Sitting towards this direction. And a light from heaven is beaming. You see, so many things have been stolen from that sister. So many things were taken away from her. It's gifted by God. But she suffered. Can you bring, bring her? Bring her for me. Bring her. She suffered for so long. But today God wants to restore. He wants to restore. I'm telling you the truth. I am not the best. I just came to testify to you. Maybe there are people in this room that have the ordination from God to be higher in the order of this priesthood. Yes. Because it's the one that ordains. It is your own level of faithfulness and compliance that will determine your reward before him. But there is no law anywhere that any of you cannot be more anointed than I am. Because you cannot receive anything except it be given to you from heaven. Oh! I see Kobele Samalante is He comes with a jar of oil. A jar. A jar of oil. A jar of oil. A jar of oil. You see, there is a lady here and... Um, You started exercising your spirit not too long. You started doing the prayer routines and all of the spiritual disciplines. You started getting acquainted with um, our procedure of discipleship. And your spirit is opening. I can see that you are called to be a prophet. In fact, a seer. That you see things in the spirit. And when you pray, when you pray, you begin to see how God is answering your prayer. See, he comes he comes his presence comes his presence comes with so much strength grace upon your life in the name of Jesus grace upon your life grace upon you my copeli skufelama braske folaska isko batolia premina halabokovia the angels began to visit me there is one of them that the fourth one when that one comes that one comes with a screen opens a screen then i begin to see the future that was how i knew i didn't know i had an international ministry that city you met me i was willing to live and die there and then god said no your journeys will take you yonder it was by that screen <laughs> there is a knowledge that is more excellent than anything you know now and God wants to show you great and mighty things that you can never imagine. The time for half measures and talk is over. The kingdom of God is about to rise through the vessels of men, to the vessels of women. All kinds of things will begin to change because God is set to visit the United Kingdom. He said. You will find our white brothers, prophets among them, mighty men and women of God. Oh, they will invade the white community. And you will begin to see that the things that have taken over the civilization of this territory will suffer loss on the account of their rising. God is set. God is set. The Holy Ghost is set. The Holy Ghost is set. He said, he said, a little one shall become a thousand. He said, a small one shall become a strong nation. Out of what God is doing in your spirit, he will begin to heal nations in the earth in the name of Jesus Christ. Put on your strength. Put on your strength. Put on your strength. Be strong in the law and in the power that is resident in his might. Put on the whole armor of God that he may be able to stand. I lay me do see 
Ivale mamo mama Ai le le lo si Rimale sume ko baba mama Sai le li mo kombala mi Eso se la mo mama Saile i kabina mo i se kole mo mana I see three cloven tongues of fire there are three evangelists in this auditorium and the fire of god will descend upon you you have a message for this generation you have a message for this generation god will quicken you he will quicken you he will quicken you yeah mamo Ali male sikabomu abalame sanama 